Guys, welcome. You join me again at the awesome Warpack for the next edition of the Warpack series. We are on Lake Six. Sorry, I thought it was five then. We're on Lake Six, like five's up there, a bit further up. This is Lake Six behind me. Uh, not a lot been happening. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. We've got 48 hours to give it a go and continue our run of fish, hopefully, anyway. Weather's due to change, so I'm going to have a look around and see if I can find some fish and plot up for the night. Uh, yeah guys, welcome to the Woolpack Vlog. Alright, welcome back. Hmm, not a lot happening. We had a good trot round. I've done a lap. Spoke to my mate Dave who's up there, a couple of swims up. Uh, he's on Lake 6. Uh, sorry, he's on Lake 5. This is Lake 6. I've been trickling a little bit of bait into this swim here. Let's have a look, let's have a little look. I'll just show you, have a little look. This swim here, I've been trickling a little bit of bait into here. Have a look, look at that for a view. Is that carpy or what? Look at that, how carpy is that? How carpy is that? Wow. Lovely, isn't it? There's proper carp in it, look. Look at that, look. Proper carpy looking up there. See the length of the lake, Lake Six. Uh, not a lot's been happening down there. It's been pretty quiet, the odd fish coming out. Fish have spawned three or four weeks ago. Uh, the expected sort of mega feed up hasn't really happened. Uh, although, <clears throat> saying that, it has been 40 odd bloody degrees. 40, th mid 30s to 40 degrees a lot of the time. Bit of a cooler couple of days, hence why I'm down here, to give it a go, see if we can bag one. We've got 48 hours, haven't found any fish at all, so that's why I sort of trick a little bit of bait in a couple of areas. One area up the other end, one area down this end, so if I don't see anything, I can drop in, <clears throat> and it gives me a little bit of confidence. Wind is gonna start blowing, up this way, gonna stop blowing up this way. And the fish usually, I say usually, because they don't always, but they tend to get on it. They tend to move with it. It's the first sort of northerly, northwesterly, near east we've had for about a week or so. Uh, and I was down last week, did a couple of nights. <clears throat> Not a lot happened, but I remember leaving and trickling a little bit of bait into here before I went. So I'm gonna get all the kit off the barra I'm gonna get sorted, gonna get all ready, and then we'll talk about tactics, how we're gonna approach the session, what we're doing over the next couple of days. Uh, I'll probably just get them out, really, because we've only got three or four hours before it gets dark. So I say it's late afternoon, four o'clock-ish. Get the kit off, get the rods out, relax for the first night, wake up early in the morning, and see where the fish are. You never know, you might have one. You never, you never know, you might get that lucky. That's it, but you never know, do you? But that's the plan, anyway. Wake up early morning and see where the fish are. Right, I'm gonna get cracking and uh, yeah, see you in a while guys. All up, all the kits inside and all done. We've even managed to get the rods out. I'll just take you through the rods. I wanna try and be as quiet as possible because I'm only fishing liter literally just past the rod tips there, so I'll be quiet. Right, left hand rod, I stuck out, just past the pads there. I've been putting a little bit, if you see the pads right there, just the other side of them, it's literally a rod length or so off, off the bank. Uh, it's, it's about five foot, six foot deep there, banging rock hard. I've been putting a bait on there the last few weeks, just tricking a little bit in. Uh, and they've been feeding it. They must have been feeding them because it's, it's rock hard down there. The next one, I'll show you. Let's go down. The next one is out there about, yeah, just on the drip drop off. I put that out there on both of them. A handful of 18 mil triple X, what I've been putting in here, what I've been feeding on. A uh, couple of handfuls of tigers, the black tigers and the normal tigers as well. 
can see, I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. Uh, and I take um, yeah, the right hand rod, it's tucked away in the bushes up there. For the little, this little walkway that goes up there. We'll have a look at it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just there. It's in between two trees. It's about it's about six foot again. I've been putting a bit of bait on there. There's a lovely, lovely hard, rock hard area there as well. All three on bottom baits, D rigs. Um, yeah, lovely. I'm just trying to get a bit of light here so you can see me. That's better. Yeah. So again, put it out there. Lovely. They're all three of them are underarm chucks. Are really nice. Lovely, lovely bit of fishing. It really is. Little underarm trucks, uh, trucks, chucks. Little underarm chucks. Cut the handfuls of boilies over the top, cut the handfuls of tigers, job is a good one. Watch the foam come up, lovely. All good, slack off the lines, put the bobbins on, and we're, um, yeah, we're rocking. We're happy as Larry, as I say, for the first night. I'm just gonna get in there, gonna get a couple